this is uh, Kyle Crowley from We Tech Care View, and I just want to do a quick video regarding delegation um, when you're doing anything to do with Power Apps and to do with SharePoint. I've seen this issue a lot of times in the past, and uh, I just want to show you a quick workaround around that. So I've got a SharePoint list here. Uh, this is just populated with dummy data, and you can see here that this has got 691 records in this list. Now, when, as soon as it goes over the 500 mark, this will appear when you're trying to hit a SharePoint list. So at the moment, I've just got a, a gallery pulling in from that SharePoint list, the test data list, and that's just linked to a, to a search field. Um, as soon as that made the connection, the de delegation error occurred. This is just due because every time it, it's trying to read the SharePoint list, if it goes over 500 records, it's just too much data to, to load. Um, and it, 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 it'll just, I mean, if you, if you do pull lists in to any of your power apps, which are over 500, you'll just get issues where records just won't be retained. So it just won't be loading all of the records. Um, a workaround around this is to load all of that list data into a collection. Um, a collection in power apps, you can store up to then 2000 records. So I just want to quickly run through this and show you how to just load your list data into a collection and then how you can just replace that with the link to your SharePoint list data source. So the first things first is you'll just need to go to file and settings. And in the advanced settings here, you've got a data row limit for non-delegable queries. So what you want to do is take, change this to 2000. Um, again, 2000, as I'm aware of at the moment in May 2020 is, is the, the cap for collections. Um, so once you've changed that, you want to go up to your app here where you would have your on start and you just want to do a clear collect and whatever the name of your collection. So I've just called mine test data collection and then the data source link. So this is the link to my to my SharePoint list. So this means now that on the app on start, every time this app loads, this will populate a collection with all the data from that test data list. So again, that'll pull in all of those 691 rows over 500 and, and then can be up to 2000. And that's then pulled all the data into your app side then. So then you can query that collection and it'll be a lot smoother and you'll be able to hit all the records and there'll just be no delegable query alerts or warnings. Um, so what if I just select now on my gallery here, on my filter where I'd be pulling in from my SharePoint list, all you need to do is just change that to your, your collection. And, and and there it goes. And that will now correctly work. As you can see, the warning has disappeared because now it's affecting straight to the collection. So if I now do my data here, the list is populated with over 500 records. I'll just finally show you the actual collection that we created. So here you can see in the collections, there's the test data collection. And from the app on start, that populated from the SharePoint list, all of the rows. So that's just a quick workaround to show you what you can do when you get the delegation warnings, when you're trying to pull data from a SharePoint list. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it's brought you some value. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for listening.